there is a great confusion in our country and everyone is experiencing it. And whoever is not experiencing it is about to experience it. The great confusion that I'm going to talk about in this specific episode is the, the occurrences in our country. Our country, Kenya, is building roads, is building railways, is building viaduct, is building expressways, is building superhighways, is building terminals in our airport, terminal A, B, C, D, and all those capacities are being built. If you ask a person who has a car, and they're in Nairobi, they tell you how much they don't love Nairobi because there is a traffic jam and traffic snarls. They believe if a government builds expressways, building viaducts and such kind of a things, their problem will be solved. And they'll tell you when such happens, is where they, they, they believe that the government is heading in the di- that right direction. They believe that everything is in place. When you build terminals in our airports, I mean, A, B, C, and D, and there is not a lot of queues in our terminals, when wherever they, they arrive from our overseas, they claim that the government of Kenya is building a fantastic job. If there is a multiple of airports, whenever they are air, the, the, the airplane can be diverted to another airport, they tell you the government of Kenya has a plan. If they build expressways, they build highways and superhighways, they tell you everything is in place. If you ask another person in our country who doesn't have a job or who doesn't have any formal employment or any kind of employment to make sure that they get food on the table, they tell you something is wrong. They are, you ask them that, or you tell them the Kenyan GDP grew by 10%, 6%, 7.5%, percent they do not even know what is a GDP. If you tell them that the expressway will kill the traffic snarl up in Nairobi, they get shocked. They ask you, I make something out of the traffic snarl ups. I hook something, I, I hook fruits, I hook clothes, I hook anything that is hookable, if that name exists anyway, so that I can make something out of it. If you tell them that our country is better off compared to Uganda, Kenya, and Tanzania, and Ethiopia, they don't understand. You know why? They have never been to those countries, so they cannot compare. You can only have an answer if you've ever been to that place and compared to what you have. They don't understand that. That is the kind of a confusion that we have in our country. And on top of that, someone crops up from nowhere and tells you that I exactly know your problems. I know how you hustle. I know why you don't see the essence in an expressway. I know the reason as to why you don't see an exp- an, uh, any essence in a certain production or a certain company or in a certain airport or in a certain port that has been built, whether in Lam, whether in Mombasa or anything else. They don't see the essence. They don't see the essence. I know why you don't see the essence in an SGR. Someone comes up. And another person comes up and tells you, you know what, guys, we are the rich majority of this, we are the rich minority of this country. But guess what? We control the economy of this country. That is very true. We are the people who employ a lot of people in our country. That is very true. We are we are probably 10% of our population, but we control almost everything in our country. That is so true. If you guys let these things go in this direction, then we lose everything. And I don't think anybody would love to lose anything or everything. So you're pitting people against each other. People who have and people who doesn't have. And that is the great confusion that is there. I believe you not on 9th of August 2022, people will get out of their houses to vote, depending on how they believe, in a hope that every big problem will be solved. Number one, the problem of the rich will be that their wealth is still to remain intact. That's why you find them, they're even buying for the post so that at least they secure their riches. Whether we are gotten ill or we are gotten in the right way. Those who will go you know, to vote on the 9th of August and they believe in that at least and focus on putting money in your pockets rather than building roads and railways and such kind of a thing. And those people would be focusing on that problem. But I can assure you, something will happen after the 9th of August. Someone's problem will be solved. But my question is this. Is it for the people who are rich or these people who are called poor? It all depends on who will take. And sometimes none of them can be helped. But my question is this. Can we find a balance that at least we can balance the two problems that we are having? Can we have a balance? That, should I call it a delicate balance and find a point whereby everyone will feel part and parcel of this country? Is it possible for us to have that kind of a balance? That is my question that I always ask my question, myself. Is there something that we can do to make sure that at least everyone feels that whatever is being done there? Can, can, can we come to a point whereby whenever we build a road, the rich and poor appreciates it? 
whenever we build a rail with the rich and poor appreciates it when we come to a point where by we feel like something that is happening is good for us well. i'm pretty sure that we can do that but i can say this whoever will win whoever will lose and whoever is in power right now because we have people who are in power anything that you do think or even plan to do my question is this always ask yourself does it affect someone else is it need to remember to someone's right to someone's food to someone's shelter or something of such that is always the question that you should always ask yourself i'm not trying to claim that we can have a world that's where the theft is free or rather we can live in a world that is free of theft in kenya we call it corruption in america they call it lobby in either way it's all about stealing so my question is this can we be able to find that a delicate balance and make sure that at least everyone feels relevant in our country and the question is or rather the answer to that question is it is true if you are interested with the power if you are interested with the position utilize it correctly as much as it to serve the people also it should also serve you but should not to should not be detrimental to someone's right to someone's food to someone's shelter at least those are very basic make sure that at least those people get that specific don't capitalize on their problems and make sure that at least you you know you move them around based on what they want that doesn't have a blessing even if you don't believe in blessings that is not even good my name is joseph i talk about finance i talk about anything concerned with the development how we can we improve ourselves I'm not a right activist but I talk about anything to do with finance where can you invest when and how we should do invest that is exactly what I talk about that my major as far as this money is concerned if you love money if you love to use it in the right way if you always ask yourself where is money my money going and such kind of a thing that's my major that's what I focus on if you subscribe to my channel that is exactly what you get click on the icon bell so that you be the first one to be notified when I post a video that is not a promise that really works and it's out there what i can say for now is that mm-hmm, see you in the next one